What's going on everyone? I am Zipping Meteor. Welcome to what's going to be quite possibly one of the stranger videos for me personally that I've ever done. A while back I posted a video to promote a Kickstarter project called The Billet Spin. To remind everyone, a guy by the name of, looking at the package to make sure I get the name right, Rich Stadler contacted me in hopes that I would review his next Kickstarter project prior to it actually going live as a way to, one, get honest feedback, and two, help promote the project. Naturally, I said yes, because it's kind of one of the reasons I made this channel, to help promote the little guy, I guess. Indie games and now Kickstarter projects. Now, he asked me to do, to give constructive criticism. I'm going to say that that's going to be tricky. Basically, everything I'm going to be doing is nitpicking, because I've seen pictures of the product, and I've seen videos of the product. I know it's well made, I know that the Kickstarter, when it does go live, which is, by the way, April 20th, I know that the project's going to succeed. There is no doubt in my mind about that. That said, I said I would be honest with my review, and I said that I would help promote the product. So, that's what I am going to do. By the way, Rich, I know you are watching this. You made it a real challenge to actually get into this box. Well done. Like, I really don't know how I'm getting into this box. I can't find a flap. How am I supposed to know where to put my knife, Rich? Come on. Though you did warn me that the pack signal was not the best, so. You went crazy with the tape, didn't you, Rich? Okay, first constructive criticism. Make sure that the actual packages for the rewards for the Kickstarter backers are not packaged like this. Told you I'd have to make pictures. It's going to be tricky for me to actually find problems with this. Okay, so remind everyone that might not have seen the preview video. The product that I am reviewing right now is called the Billet Spin. It is a top made out of billet aluminum that is anodized different colors. Something I haven't really seen a lot of on Kickstarter projects. Sorry, I may edit some of this out with me opening stuff. Because he packed stuff really well. To excess, quite possibly. Alright, first I'm going to show off something that's going to go with the probably the last thing I actually show. This little cube is made out of solid billet aluminum, and it is a stand for one of the products that is going to be shown on this video. Just solid aluminum. Really this could, if it was, I told him it would probably make a nice paperweight if it was sold alone, but aluminum, and this would hold down paper, no doubt, but it could, if it was made of steel, it would probably be a better paperweight, or brass. I know you've got brass handy. Alright, first top I am going to show, you know what, let's just, let's just go with what that stands for. This is a different model. This is the Billet Spin Pro, made out of solid brass, I believe one and a half inch diameter, and you'll notice it has a steel ball bearing for the tip. This means it's got a small surface area when it's spinning. And I happen to know from the videos that I've seen, this top can get a spin of over 13 minutes on a nice concave mirror. It has a 
knurled handle, and it is a different design than the other tops I'm going to show. This one is not anodized. I don't know if brass can be anodized. You notice it fits nicely in the stand, either direction. The fit, at least to me on this one, the fit is a little bit snug on some sides more than others. It's a little loose on some other sides, but with the top in it, this would make a nice paperweight, without a doubt. All right, now, every top that he sent me has its own little bag with the Billet Spin logo. He told me that the Billet Spin Pro is going to have its own logo. I don't know if it's going to have its own bag. All right, next top is simply mirrored aluminum. It too has a, don't know if my phone can pick that up, a tiny steel ball bearing for the tip. I don't know what the spin time is on these. I will make another video showing the spin time of a billet spin top and a billet spin pro type as a way to help show off the differences. Now, this one I believe is 1.25 inches in diameter, so it is considerably smaller and it's got a different handle Let's see if I can show that off and this is aluminum this is brass I should note that he is also planning on making two different two additional metals for the build spin pro one of them is titanium I believe the other one might be aluminum might be steel I'm not absolutely certain alright that was the mirrored chrome one, so it's not anodized, it's just polished. He told me he was going to send surprises. One of the surprises he sent was another Billet Spin Pro, different metal. I believe this one's titanium, I think. It's definitely lighter than the brass, and it's got a darker, almost gunmetal color to it, so yeah, that's got to be titanium. He did not tell me he was going to send that. Every time he messaged me, he's like, here's another surprise, so it's kind of a unique thing. Alright, the first actual colored billet spin, orange. You see it has the billet spin logo on the top. Nice coating. It's the same weight as the as this one, so... Well, it might be very tiny amounts heavier since it's got the coating, but not amounts that would be noticeable to the normal person. Next colored one he sent me, purple. Again, has the logo printed on top. It's a bit... It's a bit actually, those are different size ball bearings. The mirrored one has a smaller ball bearing than the purple one. I don't know if that's intentional or not, or if it's just my eyes playing tricks on me, but pretty sure that's a smaller top, or a smaller tip, rather. Okay, so so far I've gotten two colored ones, a non-colored one, and two billet spin pros. But this one. This is the one that I actually requested. It is a rainbow anodized top. It does not have the logo printed on it. I don't know if it's going to on the final version. To be honest, I kind of hope not. Because why would you want to ruin that nice coating? That said, this is not the final version of the rainbow one. The rainbow top will actually be mirror polished. This one is just anodized. And I've seen the mirror polished one. If you've watched my video, include a link here, you've seen the mirror polished rainbow one too. It is one of the most amazing tops I've ever seen spin. The mirror finished is flawless. Now, 
the coding on mine is not perfect. This is still, I wouldn't say it's a prototype stage, but it's, there are flaws in it. That said, it's still going to spin just fine. It's a really nice coating on it, though. Really cool looking. As someone who's into art, seeing something that's brightly colored and it's even different colors all the way around, it's really cool. This is the one I requested. This is easily the coolest looking one that I've ever seen. It looks wise, it surpasses the Forever Spin Tops by a large margin. Like all of the Billet Spin Tops pass the Forever Spin ones by a large margin. And I'd almost say that they're, these look better than the Lambda Top, but then again, I like rubies, and the Lambda Top has a ruby tip, so it's... I may be a little impartial on that one. Now, these tops do not... Well, they fit in a stand, but stand isn't meant for this. I don't know if he plans on making a stand for... Well, scratch that. I do know that he plans on having a stand to hold multiple billet spin tops at once, so it's... There's definitely going to be a way to display them. Honestly, Rich, you wanted me to provide constructive criticism. But really, the only thing I could say bad was the packaging. A bit excessive. Everything here is extremely well made. I mean, I've seen the videos. I know that these, at least the brass one, can spin over 13 minutes. I know you've gotten these to spin for over three, I believe, but I'm that was on a flat surface, and I'm sure with practice someone can get a lot longer times out of these. I can't really find much to complain about, honestly. They're really well made. If the coatings, especially on the rainbow ones, is perfected before the project starts, then I don't see how this project could fail. They're well made. I know that they spin really well. There will be links to other videos where they spin. I have no complaints. Honestly. And there's a very, very good chance that I'm going to back the project just to get the mirrored version of this. And probably a stand, since you didn't send me one of those. Sad face kidding. Thank you, Rich. These are great additions to my collection. I will definitely check out the project. I will post you know, annotation right here to the Kickstarter project once it starts. Again, it's going to come out April 20th. Here's a few... try to put a few videos here to the actual spin videos, one for the Billet Spin Pro and one for the Billet Spin Regular. Again, thank you, Rich. I really appreciate you asking me to do this. These are really well-made, really great-looking tops. To everyone watching, thank you. Go check out the Billet Spin project appearing on Kickstarter April 20th. Also, you know what? No, that project's already ended. Rich also made the Billet Dice project, so... I don't know if he plans on selling those at a later time. If he does, maybe I'll put a link down there. So, I don't know. But if you like this video, please give it a like. If you like any of the content that I post on this channel, consider subscribing. It would mean a lot. I am Zipping Meteor. Again, thank you, Rich. And to all watching, I'll see you next time. Later.